Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a website, but the difference with this video is that I'm going to show you how to buy all the hosting, and I'm going to do it from my own site live. I'm transferring tom-rogers.com to Bluehost, so I thought I'd show you all the things you need to do to get the hosting and get it pointing to Bluehost or any um dumb dummy right from within there so the first thing i'll go to show you is that if you go to top dash rogers dot com it's blank it doesn't even have a title because there's just nothing there it's not hosted anywhere i've got rid of the hosting what i'm going to be doing is using bluehost and i'm going to sort of show you the entire process um the bit where i enter in all my details i'm going to kind of Pause the video before I do that, obviously, but everything else you're going to see. The f I also need to mention, and this has got nothing to do with this screencast, but I just wanted to give props to a user called The DT Show. And he owns the DT Show.com, there's some funny videos in there. Um, and he has actually been instrumental in providing me. This application, it's Coda, um, because I'm actually developing one of his websites right now, and this um, he gave he gave me this as to help with the development and to use for lifetime. So I really, really need to give him props um, for what he's allowed us to. You, you'll see me using Coda in the screencast all the time. Okay, so let's dive back into the uh, setup. If if anything goes wrong, I'll pause the video as well. Um, so I'm just going to uh, enter in my domain and it gives you a free domain. And it says, help me transfer my domain well i don't necessarily want to do that but it might mean transfer the, the name servers but if it does then that's fine because i'll just have the domain on bluehost so i just kind of take things as they come here so i'm that's important in this particular case i'm transferring the existing domain so i'm just going to fill that in and click next i really am working live here um and here comes the bit where I'm gonna pause pause the video because it asked me to enter in all my details. So when you see me next I'll be on the next page so you can't see all my um parents' details. So see you in a minute guys. Okay, so I've now got that don't I've now got that hosting package and I bought it for longer than I wanted to um, but I've, I've got it and um, we're we're now going to go into my hosting and change the name servers so it points to Bluehost um, what I'm going to do is open up the thing that tells you the name servers and let me go back into my domain um manager and update the name servers I'm going to clear out the existing records and I'm going to paste in those other records that I've been given. Again, this will uh, depend hugely on your host. It's usually name server 1 and name server 2.
so I'm just going to add the first name server and by default knows that I'm going to probably want name server too. Now, that's not going to transfer right away. If we go to tom-rogers.com now, it's still going to be empty because it hasn't moved to that Bluehost um, hosting server. It can take up to um, a few days for the hosting accounts to um, get get ready with the domains so I'm actually gonna have to leave this part of the video for a few days and get the next part in later so thank you for watching this video hello and today I just wanted to do a quick little video here announcing that my um, new website the DNS, the DNS has um, progressed took a little bit longer than I expected it to because in the in the last bit of this tutorial I actually um, put the DNS in wrong but I got my DNS settings right so now I have a fully functioning website so if you go to tom-rogers.com it's now pointing to the Bluehost server and it basically serves up this um, Bluehost page on my particular setup because because I'm using Bluehost and it says this site is currently under construction and then it gives a whole bunch of actually useful links to the website owner but um, we should probably get something up right away since this isn't really useful to the user but just wanted to show you that that is now indeed working. I can get into the C panel and do anything I want to do. This is a very extensive standard C panel. Um, and I was getting to the whole thing yesterday. I was a bit confused with come logging to the FTP because that's why my because. My domain wasn't ready at the time. Um, but now, if we open up Coda, which was financed by um, my good friend, the DT Show, just give him a little plug there. Um, and we'll see that I've logged in to my account. These are the default settings that you set up in your account. So I'm just going to go to the root directory and you got a bunch of useless files but you need them to keep your website and you put your files in the html file public html and the default dot html is is the home page um, which which creates the ad page that you saw um, so you're going to want to delete that and yes, yeah. but I just wanted to show you the entire process of actually buying and hosting an account and getting it all set up it was very simple but quite long um, and yeah, I'll be doing more video on this in the future of me actually setting it up. See you later, bye.